Ultra wide monitors, should you bite the bullet and upgrade? Or are they just overhyped and overpriced? Hi, my name is Sam and I recently purchased my first ultra wide monitor. The LG 35WN75C. Monitor names are just such a mouthful. Today, after one month of use, we're gonna give this monitor a full review and answer the question, are ultra monitors worth the price? Ultra monitors? ultra wide monitors. So before we dive into it, let's first discuss why would anyone want an ultra wide monitor in the first place? Well, to start with productivity. Ultra wide monitors have a 21 by nine resolution instead of the standard 16 by nine. This wider resolution allows for more comfortability when using two or three windows. So if you are only ever using one monitor, well, it just allows you to be more productive. Next, we have gaming. The extra horizontal space that you gain with an ultra wide means that any player can get a wider field of view. Whilst this isn't something I particularly use my screen for, if you are playing a racing game, it could make it feel more immersive, or if you're playing a first or third person shooter, it might give you a competitive advantage. Finally, we have the design. This might sound like a bit of a mute point, but some people might actually buy the ultra wide for the look of the ultra wide. A single large curved display give a cleaner and less cluttered look than dual monitors ever would. If someone's going for that simplified look, an ultra wide might be the decision they make. Now that you know some use cases for ultra wide, let's specifically talk about the one that I have from LG and whether it's one that I recommend you pick up. Well, as previously mentioned, my monitor is the LG 35WN75C. And if it wasn't obvious, the 35 indicates the screen size. This display sent me back 480 pounds and I mainly purchased it for productivity whilst working and for video editing. Whilst I'm working, I can use LG's on-screen control software to nicely divide the monitor for multitasking. And then when I'm video editing, I can get an extended view of the project timeline as well as ensure the colors of my video look great through the HDR10. Now away from personal use, let's actually go into detail on the specs of this monitor. The resolution of this screen is 1440p and I feel that's something that's definitely needed for a screen of this side or actually any screen that's above 27 inches. If you want your image to look crisp, you need that pixel density. So for a monitor of this size, 1440p is definitely needed. Now that 1440p has a maximum frequency of 100 Hertz, and this can only be achieved by using a DisplayPort cable or a USB-C cable. If you were to use a HDMI cable, you'd have a frequency of 85 Hertz. I don't play any games on this monitor, so frequency wasn't an important feature, but if you are planning to ever play games on an ultra wide, then frequency is something you definitely want to take into consideration. Now from a ports perspective, this screen has a single HDMI slot, display port slot, and USB-C slot and then also has an aux out and two USB-A headers. Now the fact this screen has USB-C was a massive pro for me and a main reason for me picking this up. The reason being because it allows me to use the ultra wide as a dot for my laptops. By connecting my peripherals directly to the monitor and then having a single USB-C from the monitor to my laptop, it allows me to have a 100 hertz display, access to my peripherals and 94 watt fast charging. I mainly use this ultra wide with my MacBook Pro, so the availability of USB-A ports is incredibly handy, and a single USB-C leaves a really clean design. Speaking of design, whilst this monitor has a fairly minimal look with a single LG logo, the design is actually something I don't like. This is because of the included stand. The stand that it comes with, whilst it's super easy to install and adjust, it's just really, really big. Curve shape takes up far too much desk real estate, and for me, with a desk that's only 60 centimeters deep, well, that's just really inconvenient. Now, moving on from design, I'm gonna talk about some features that I don't particularly use, but LG feature quite heavily on the website, so I thought I'd touch upon them. The first two are both around productivity, and this is reader mode and flicker save. Reader mode reduces blue light to lessen eye fatigue, and it also matches the screen to the color of paper for an optimal reading experience. Flicker save is also about the experience and reduces invisible flickers on the screen, which then provides a more comfortable working environment for your eyes. Then moving from working to gaming, there's also AMD FreeSync. Again, I don't use this monitor for any gaming, but if you turn freezing on, it reduces screen tears and stuttering and just generally make the gaming experience a lot better. But now, with those specs in mind and my experience, would I recommend this monitor? Yes, but also no. It really does just depend on your use case. The monitor isn't perfect and is by no means cheap, but if you're someone like me and going to use the monitor for video editing and productivity whilst working, then I think it's definitely worth it. I used to use an eight year old 27 inch monitor and this is 10 times better to work on. Not only that, it also makes working more enjoyable. Being able to navigate a video project so easily is a feature I never want to lose. But with that being said, if you're gonna use this screen for gaming and or general aesthetics, I don't think it's for you. As well as there being other brands out there which are cheaper and some with better spec, LG have their own Ultra Gear line specifically for gaming. Whilst at more or less the same price point, you don't get as high a resolution, you do get a faster response time and a faster refresh rate, which I would argue is definitely more important for gaming. 
So now, model and brand aside, should you buy an ultra wide over a dual monitor setup and is it worth the price? Well, I think there's no winning when you try to answer this question and it actually does depend on your use case. I would say dual monitors are more versatile, better for gaming and overall the cheaper option. Whereas ultra wides are cleaner, more space efficient and better for productivity. I really hate not being able to give you a proper answer, but that really is my honest opinion. It's actually why I use an ultra wide on my productivity desk and a triple monitor setup on my gaming slash streaming desk. I think if you're actually serious about picking up an ultra wide, then you just need to think about your use cases and whether the benefits actually outweigh the cons and whether it really suits you and your budget. So no simple yes or no, but with that conclusion, that's where we end today's video. I hope this video has helped you and given you some information to help you make a more informed decision a more informed decision on whether an ultra wide is right for you. But let me know what you're thinking. Are you currently rocking an ultra wide and thinking about switching models? Or are you just on a dual monitor setup and want an ultra wide? Or are you building a setup from scratch and just kind of weighing out your options? But yeah, my name is Sam. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch today's video. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.